show you how the cam lock works. It's a pretty interesting little device. Uh, this is a, a six inch cam lock. The four inch cam lock works a little bit differently, but um, uh, maybe we'll cover that in a different video. What happens is that, that these need to be um, aligned in order for the, for the studs to pull out. If they're not, you can never get anything off of it. Try to get up to, there you go. You see the little detent right there? And a stud will ride in this groove, it'll retain this into the flange and it also hits that detent. A spring goes underneath like that to push this up against that detent and then this goes into one of the cam lock holes like that and now you can see the spring. You put this in from the front. See the little line? And you can actually see it pop out. Do it again. Comes around and it'll pop up. Boom, that's where the, the uh, stud retainer hits the detent. This pops up. So now that will stay there while you're getting the chuck on and off. So here's the, here's the pin for the chuck. This goes in like that. Now when this is not there, it won't go in. So it has to be right there, locked up. When this goes in, there's a line on it. And that line should be, when you put this in your chuck, that line should be right sur even with the surface of the chuck. And that's what it's there for. It's a little gauge line. So this is the chuck goes in here, and then when you turn this, it grabs hold of that cam. See the little line? When the line is even with the face of the, of the uh, flange here, that means that the chuck theoretically is tight. So as you turn this, you'll notice it pulls that cam in. Okay, so now turn it back the other way, it comes out. These holes have a lot of play in them, and that's per spec. These holes do not have a lot of play in them, they're pretty tight. So, uh, but when you have six of these around a chuck, they're not necessarily going to all be in exactly where they belong. So you need a little bit of clearance in here to get it. So that's 0.906, is this, and this is 0.875. So really quite a bit of slop in it from the factory. That, but that's what the spec is. And this, of course, is just a regular half-inch square drive with any ratchet set. So it's, you, don't, you don't need special tools to get this thing to work. If you get this thing in here and you run out of travel, or this thing has to travel too far 
to pull this up tight is you don't want to travel traveling all the way around like that. You want it to be someplace in a reasonable zone. If, that, if it doesn't work out, what you can do is you take this off of the chuck. There's a, there's a little, this groove is for a little bit retainer screw that keeps it from turning. So these have to be held in alignment also. If for some reason it won't tighten up, you can take the screw out, rotate it once, put the screw back in. That raises it up some. And the opposite is true also. If it won't tighten up enough, so the, there's an adjustment built into these fine threads, and that's what they're there for, and the witness line. So you can have that below or above or right on the surface, depending upon what you need to grab with the truck. Generally speaking, there's a lot of travel on these guys, so uh, there's not going to be a problem with, with grabbing that pin. All right, that's all there is to it. There's your cam lock.